Welcome everybody, it's seven o'clock, and uh, welcome to the Board of Mayor and Alderman August 9th, 2018 regular meeting. I call this meeting to order. We do have a quorum. The prayer is, I have the prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance is with Alderman Jones. Please stand for the prayer. <coughs> God, our Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to assemble in this building free of choice and praise what is great, Lord, and important. Pray for all the fine men and women across this nation that is working to keep all of us safe and keeping us, this city, strong and on the right track. Help comfort the needy and peace on earth. Pray for the safety of our school children as they start a new school season throughout the year. Thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus. Thank you for the day that we have made for us. Keep in our hearts the people that is less ones uh, fortunate. Restore faith and peace. Restrain temptation. Father, uh, by your grace, care, and spirit of your loving presence, in Jesus' name, amen. Face the flag. <clears throat> to approve the minutes for June 28, 2018 public hearing and uh, June 28, 2018 special meeting, July 3, 2018 regular meeting, and July 19, uh, 2018 special meeting. Need a motion to approve? Make a motion to approve, this, uh, accept that submitted. Need a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Hearing no nays, the minutes is passed. Uh, number two, we, we got two presentations uh, to uh, present. One is a uh, uh, MTAS training certificate for Jason Cole. And then we got an uh, outstanding performance award that we uh, present four times a year. I wanna welcome Brad Turner and Mike Sparks. We all come in front here and we got two presentations. <laughs> That's one that should have two in it right there. There you go. You want to read it, Brad? I do. Yeah. So this is uh, this is for Jason Cole, University of Tennessee Municipal Technical Advisory Service (MTAS), an agency of the Institute for Public Service. Certifies that Jason Cole has completed the EOA 11 economic development on June 8, 2018. This course provides two hours of CTE CLE. Credit for Jason, as everyone here knows, mayor and others that serve with him. Uh, Jason is passionate about what he does, passionate about Laverne, passionate about his community and leadership. And it's something to be said and very refreshing that an elected official would go do this on his own time to be able to better understand how he needs to help govern and be a strong benefit to not only those that he serves with on the Board of Aldermen, but those in the community too, which is important. So Jason, congratulations, my friend. It's a pleasure to know you, and thank you for your hard work. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. There is one more over Got there. Got one more, Brad. Right? And the second one is a certificate of completion from the University of Tennessee Municipal Technical Advisory Service. An HC of the Institute for Public Service certifies that Jason Cole also has completed the EOA 07 Public Works on June 8, 2018. And this course also provides in two hours of CT and CLE. So Jason, congratulations again. You're a busy man. But thank you for all your hard work. Appreciate it. Thank you. We got a... Uh, we got one more here. We got a, a special one here that I spent, present once, four times a year, and this is the City of Laverne Outstanding Performance Award. I hereby grant it to Ann Smith for her dedication and hard work for the City of Laverne. The city hereby recognizes you with the 
this award and we thank you for the excellent work you've done for the city of Laverne given this day the ninth day of August 2018 and it's presented to you by Mayor Dennis Waldron, City of Laverne. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Mike and Brad Turner, appreciate you coming. Uh, appreciate very much being here. That being said, we're down to uh, department reports. Uh, Fire Department, Chris Clark. The month of July, we had 321 calls. If you'll take note, 225 of those calls were medical in nature. 3.3 um, minute response time, 6,000 gallons of uh, water used. Any questions? Thank you. Great job, Chris. Y'all doing a good job up there. What about them yellow fire engines? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the police department, we don't, Chief Walker's not here to present it. Uh, it's in the package. So uh, we'll move on down to code. Randolph? The Mayor, Alderman. <clears throat> the uh, monthly report for July 2018. We issued 30 single family dwelling permits at a valuation of 6.3 million. Had 13 commercial applications at a valuation of 28.2 million. We issued nine miscellaneous permits, uh, two sign permits, five grading permits, seven permits to include additions and remodels. Uh, <coughs> there were one mobile home. Uh, total number of permits for the month were 69. Our fees collected were $95,097.90. Total monthly revenue was $126,052.90. Plumbing permits, there were 33 single family. There were eight commercial. Uh, mechanical permits, there were 32 single family, nine commercial. For the month, there were 238 calls for tall grass, 31 for junk cars, <coughs> 39 to include others miscellaneous. The building inspections for the month were 403. Our impact fees for the year, we collected 452,000, excuse me, for the month, it was $452,009.21 impact fees. Parks department was $9,952. Police department was $39,459 impact fees collected. For the month with the impact fees was $627,473.20. For the year to date totals on impact fee, or month, monthly revenues for the year on, as of the year is 1.1 million. Uh, total number of single family permits issued due to date have been 196. This time last year it was 150. Total number of permits year to date of all total is 384. Any questions? Thank you, Randolph. Y'all stay busy over there. If anybody don't believe it, just stop in there. Y'all got packages for some metals laying everywhere. We, we're down to uh, Park and Rec, AC. All right. Mayor, Alderman, um, there are numbers for the last month. Um, we're super busy this time of year. We got a lot of stuff going on. Some of our upcoming events, we have a music in the park this coming Saturday. Um, starts at six o'clock. Um, Stevie Rocks is the band. They do a little bit of everything. Um, of course, in September is the big month for Old Timers Festival. We have a uh, carnival starts. It'll run from the 5th through the 8th, and then September 8th is obviously uh, Old Timers Festival. And then we have another music in the park. The Hoffman Band will play on September 21st. Um, upcoming meetings, we have a Parks and Rec meeting on the 20th of August, um, and a Greenway meeting as well. Those are 6 and 7 o'clock, respectively, and then a Senior Center Advisory meeting on the 16th at 4. Um, and I'm super, super happy to be able to say this. The, uh, we will have a grand opening for the Greenway on the 25th of August at 9 a.m., which is a Saturday. Um, we'll give away some memorabilia and just some things to commemorate this long-awaited opening. Um, and we'll have a 5K run as well, or w run walk, depending on which one you want to do. Um, uh, and that'll also take place on the 25th. 
And last but not least, we've had a little bit of turnover in my department. So um, Julia's moved on to economic development and you, Y'all might recognize her, Felicia Mays from, from uh, Water Building. Felicia, stand up. She has taken the coordinator spot. So I'm really, really glad to have her. She's super motivated, and I think she's going to do a great job. Any questions? A carnival. Uh, is it bigger than last year, the same size? They're going to bring three bigger rides is what they told me. So it's, I mean, it was pretty substantial last year, but they're going to bring three of their bigger rides that weren't available last year. So, okay. Yeah. And then for anybody that wants to be a vendor, set up a booth, be in the parade, who do they contact? You can do that? Facebook, you can contact Ann or myself or Felicia um, and Laura up at the Parks Building. Just call up there. We have uh, applications that we can scan and fax to you or however you want to get them. Wonderful. Thank okay. you, sir. Last year, I see the carnival in the, was, was, was super good. So if they add some more rides... It's, yeah, they're going to be add a blast. More. It's going to be a real super. And good. I did uh, talk to him the other day after our meeting. He's got he's he brings his own ATM, but we're going to find one more to put up in the entrance right. tent. So. Good deal. Thank you, AC. Yep. Oh, Ed, put, mm -hmm. too, sorry. Nope, AC. Sorry. What's the day and time of the Old Timers Day Parade? That's just, that's going to be on the eighth, September eighth. At what time? And the parade starts at ten o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and also start. It, it, Starts at City Hall. Starts at City Hall, park. yes, and it'll it'll end up at the park, and then right after that, kind of kicks off Old Timers Festival. We'll have opening remarks. We're we got a different format this year than we had last year. Um, we're going to move the stage uh, over behind Field Two, which is where it used to be a long time ago, um, and try to put everything a little closer together so that people don't have to walk out on the football field. Um, it'll be different, but I think it's going to be better. So. So don't when y'all come up, don't get lost. It's over there behind the. Just you'll have to walk through all the food vendors to get to it. Great so. day. Thank you, AC. Great job. Now we're down to finance, Phyllis. Good afternoon, Mayor and Alderman. Um, this month's financial report is uh, an estimate for our year end. We're we won't be done with uh, year end for a couple more months, but this is a pretty good estimate of where we're going to wind up at for the year. For the general fund, um, we're expecting revenue to exceed expenditure by approximately 2.3 million. Sales tax uh, looks like we're going to collect right at $8 million this year, which is a million and a half better than budgeted and uh, $1.1 million better than prior year. State street aid revenues have exceeded expenditures by approximately 567,000. And stormwater revenues have exceeded expenditures by approximately 344,000. Water sewer fund revenues have exceeded expenditure approximately $2,043,000. Second page is our balances in our various bank accounts. And the third page is a comparison to prior year. Um, for general fund, revenues are up uh, $2.1 million. And expenses are up about $4 million. As you know, we pulled some expenses up. At the end of the year, we bought a fire truck in the middle of the year. We've, we've um, done a lot of um, uh, improvements during the year. Um, water sewer fund, um, revenues exceeded expenditure approximately $1 million over prior year. Um, any questions? Now, I was watching Channel 2 the other night. It shows about Davis County Nashville's $35 million in the, in the, in the hole, but it's, it's good to see Laverne is thriving strong. Yep. Our revenues is up, and they, it looks good strong for the, the, yep. the coming up year. And I thank you, for this for all your hard any work. Any other questions? Thank you. We don't have anybody for library, so we're down to water treatment. Shane Bissinger. Good evening, Mayor and Alderman. Um, during the month of July 2018, the Laverne Water Tra uh, Treatment Plant treated 133.968 million gallons of lake water and delivered 109.56 million gallons to the city customers. That equates to an average of 4.3 million gallons per day treated and 3.5 million gallons per day delivered to the community. Um, the emergency operation plan um, for Laverne Water Treatment System and the um, back T site sample plan um, were both delivered to the state um, today with the MOR. So now that that's out of the way, um, we can start working uh, hopefully this month on, on um, the uh, Mr. Bocop um, recommendations. So um, we also added a new employee, Mr. Jordan. He is a maintenance technician. 
He will assist the facility with maintenance, flushing, cross connection, and operations. Um, it's not in this report, but we did all, also hire a new operator uh, this month. Um, so we're almost at a full staff now. Any questions? Thank you, Shane. Good Thank, you. Thank you. That puts us down to public works. Uh, Garland Russell. Good afternoon, Mayor and Alderman. This is for the month of July 2018. <clears throat> we had a 37 requests for pickups for brush. We picked up a 1,075 with 96 <coughs> loads at 174,000 pounds delivered to Murfreesboro, 391 work hours, uh, workhouse program hours, and 95 work orders. In the fleet department, we had a total of 43 repairs, 41 in-house and two was outsourced, 29 oil changes, uh, brakes, uh, equipment repair. Any questions? Any question? I'm glad to see the brush truck is, is on the consent agenda. Uh, glad to see y'all getting that second brush truck, so it hopefully it'll speed up the turnaround it. on picking up the brush. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. That puts it down to utility, Mike Deeks. Mayor Otterman, good afternoon. Uh, for the month of July 2018, Water Department had a total of 129 work orders. Mainline repairs for the month was five. We had 21 service line repairs, inspected 32 valves. Our cleanup total for the month was 14. Uh, estimated gallons of water not sold was 200,915. Uh, department overtime for the month was 74. The meter department, we had a total of 396 work orders. New meter sets were 18. Made a, had a total of 80 meter swaps. Uh, miles of pipe walked and listened to was 16.7. Uh, listened to uh, 1,435 meters, answered 218 Tennessee One calls, had five customer requests for their meter to be tested and reports, had a total of 14 and a half hours overtime for the month in the meter department. On down to the sewer, we had a total of 116 total work orders. Our service calls were 91, pump station 71, final grinder pump inspections for the month was seven, uh, manhole inspections were 60, grinder pump rebuilds in-house was six, with a total of 95 hours overtime for the month in the sewer department. Uh, the more, majority of that overtime for the month, we did have a pump go down at one of our larger lift stations. Uh, the guys was on it uh, around the clock. We had no overflow, so great job for them. No, no nasty letters from Metro or from Metro and the state. So, any questions? I'm, I was glad, I was so glad to get, see that stormwater and engineering fix that drainage problem in front of KFC. I am too. Man, I I'm tell you what. I'm glad they got it done. That's been there for years <laughs> and years, and and it and uh, I, I know Adam and uh, Kathleen's not here, but they was here. I'd, I'd sure, sure, sure congratulate them. They did a great job. That's, that's, a, water that's a deal that's been here. needing for years and years, and it's finally fixed. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. Thank, Thank you all. Thank you. That puts it down to human resources, Cheryl. Good evening, Mayor and Alderman. Here is the Human Resource Report. We had seven <coughs> jobs posted with 99 <coughs> applicants. Four employees were promoted, one resignation and one termination, six workers' compensation claims, two liability claims, 81 care here appointments with three no-shows. There were 377 lives covered, seven HRAs were conducted, for a total claim dollar amount of $159,674. Are there any questions? No, oh, Cheryl. Thank you very Thank much. You. Great job. And that winds up our department report down to old business. Second reading ordinance 2018 20, ordinance to amend Title 20, Chapter 2, Section 20 208 of the Laverne Municipal Code regarding park and rec user fees. Need a motion to approve or deny? A motion to approve. Got a motion. Need a second. Second. Alderman Cole. Aye. Alderman Brown. Aye. Alderman Jones. Aye. I say aye. Second reading ordinance 2018 20 <clears throat> passes. Down the consent agenda. Need a motion to approve or deny. Make a motion to approve. Got a motion to approve. Need a second. Second. Alderman Jones. Aye. Alderman Cole. Aye. Alderman Brown. Aye. I say aye. The consent agenda passes. 
And we're down to new business. Number six, first reading ordinance 2018-21, an ordinance to amend Title Seven, Chapter Six of the Laverne Municipal Code regarding fireworks. Need a motion. Uh, motions on the table for for. Um, uh, I'm opening up a motion to be made. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Bruce, do we need to explain what what we're approving? Well, nothing has changed since the uh, the workshop uh, last week. Uh, we did discuss the retail versus wholesale, and and uh, the all of the retail, whether it's tents or fireworks tents fall under that first section regarding retail sales. Uh, the other business in town is a wholesaler, so it would not affect them at all. Uh, so these dates are what is currently being proposed. Now, the one question that I think staff would have is if you want to do anything, or want us to proceed with uh, a recommendation through the planning commission regarding the fireworks tents and changing those dates to be, to quote, coincide with uh, the other dates that are in the municipal code and also if you want to do anything about the the fee that is charged for fireworks tents. So we're voting on tonight the, uh, the, 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 the time to shoot them and the time to sell them? Correct. Both, both, both times. Okay. A motion been made. Need a second. Motion made, made on ordinance 2018-21. Regarding fireworks, need a second. Hearing no second, I'm gonna open the floor back up for another motion. Make a motion to deny. Got a motion to deny. Need a second. Okay, we're we're denying the 2018-21 as it stands. As it stands. Got a motion on the table to deny. I need a second. Uh, the motion fails for lack of second. I'm going to open up again for another motion. I'm going I'm to make a motion to defer because I think that there needs to be a little bit more clarity on, and I would like to see the uh, those dates correspond on the selling and firing, uh, as you stated. I would like to, uh, I'll make a motion to defer this, and if it's going through the uh, Planning Commission, um, I, I saw the brief uh, agenda for next week, so I'd, I'd rather have it discussed in the Planning Commission first. So I make a motion to defer. Got a motion on the table to defer. Need a second? I second. Got a second. Alderman Cole? No. Alderman Brown? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. I say aye. First reading ordinance 2018-21 is deferred. Number seven. First reading ordinance 2018-22, an ordinance to amend the physical year 2017-2018 general fund budget. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. Got a motion to approve. Need a second. Second. Alderman Jones. Aye. Alderman Cole. Aye. Alderman Brown. Aye. I say aye. Ordinance 2018-22 passes. We're down to number eight, a resolution 2018-17, a resolution of the City of Laverne Board of Mayor and Alderman to declare property owned by the city to be surplus to the city needs and directing disposal of the same. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. Got a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Alderman Brown? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman Cole? Aye. I say aye. Resolution 2018-17 is approved. We're down to number nine. Resolution 2018-18, a resolution to accept the 5486 Murfreesboro Road subdivision. It received a favorable recommendation from the uh, Planning Commission on April 24, 2018. And here comes Bo. We got Bo time. Good evening, Mayor and Alderman. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you all have about this minor subdivision. First of all, this subdivision is on Mercer Road. If we leave here and going towards, uh, I guess, south, it'd be the property across the street right before you get to Walmart. Yes, if the sir, old that's Dunn correct. Brothers building, the metal building, 
that backs up to the railroad track, the old Dunn Brothers property. Yes, sir. I think uh, Mercury Drive would be the street on the opposite side of Murfreesboro Road. No, Minerva. Minerva. New, they were, yeah, Any they were right there together. Both. There you go. And this is not a, a residential subdivision. This would be a Correct. commercial subdivision. It is a commercial subdivision. Four lots total. Yeah. Any question for both? There hadn't been anything substantial since we last met on the 24th. Has <laughs> That's correct. There has not. That being said, I make a motion to uh, accept. Got a motion to accept. Need a second? Second. Alderman Cole? Aye. Alderman Brown? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. I say our resolution 2018-18 is passed. That puts us down to number 10. It's a resolution. 2018-19, a resolution to authorize the city of Laverne to participate in a TML risk management pool safety partners matching grant. And I think we do this every year, don't we, Bruce? Yes, sir. Need a motion to approve or reject. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Need a second. A second. Alderman Jones. Aye. Alderman Cole. Aye. Alderman Brown. Aye. I say aye. Motion resolution 2018-19 is approved. Now we're down to number 11. A motion to approve or reject a settlement offer for the Stacy Thompson lawsuit. We had a uh, executive session earlier today. I need a motion to approve or deny. Motion to deny. Got a motion to deny. Deny. I need a second. Got a motion to deny. I'm looking for a second. I'll give a second. Any discussion? Alderman Brown? No. Alderman Jones? No. Alderman Cole? Aye. I say aye. We at two to two, Bruce. The motion fails due to the motion the fails. Lack of a, a majority. Uh, open up for another another motion. I make the motion to defer it. Need a second. Second. Got a second. Alderman Brown? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman Cole? No. I say aye. The motion uh, for the Stacy lawsuit is deferred. Now we're down to Mayor and Alderman comments. Alderman Cole. I just want to thank everybody for coming out to National Night Out. I think it was a, a huge success for the city. Uh, so many residents were there. Um, and it's a fun time for everybody, especially the kids with uh, Lifeline coming down. Uh, so thank you for all the departments that had a hand in that. That was, that was very much fun for everybody. And just want to remind everybody to be sure to uh, come out to Music in the Park this Saturday and uh, get ready for Old Timers Festival. Alderman Jones. Um, nothing. Alderman Brown. Just want to wish all the students a happy um, school year. I know it's the beginning of the school year, and it's um, from little kindergartners all the way up to um, college kids or college adults, depending on who it is. And also, I want to wish the, the faculty and staff and the teachers over at the schools a successful year as well. Education is really important. Uh, want to thank Brad Turner for coming in and, and, and Mike Sparks. Uh, Brad Turner is the county commissioner, and Mike Sparks is the state representative. Uh, anytime we asked any people from the county or, or, the, or the state to come in here, they've always been gracious in showing up, and we appreciate it. Uh, thank Walmart for inviting me to the Ribbon Cutting Tuesday. They, uh, they opened up a ribbon cutting their uh, online grocery. So that, that should help a lot of people. And, uh, and the middle school band and cheerleaders was on hand and done a great job. Uh, the, the, the LMS uh, uh, done a great job and there's a good turnout and I appreciate everybody doing that. And I want to again thank the, the engineer and the stormwater for fixing that dr uh, puddle that's been in front of KFC for, for years. And in the summertime it ain't too bad, but in the wintertime it ice is over. And when people pulls out of Deer Shryman to go toward Davidson County, when it's iced up, they, they spin and, it, and it's become a, a, a hazard. And, and stormwater is, 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 uh, went above and beyond, not just raised the pavement up, but they have dug down and 
made a good drain. So we, that problem should be taken care of. And I appreciate very much on that. And I'll invite everybody out Saturday, uh, August 11th to Hardy's on Walton Road. I'm having another, another a coffee with the mayor. And, and I've asked Cherie Robertson with the police department to, to be my guest there. So uh, I'm excited about that. And keep the Reed family in their prayer. They're going through a tough time right now, and keep the Reed family in their prayer. And I'm I'm out of things to say, and I appreciate everybody showing up. And I'll call this meeting adjourned.